Hello helpful programmer here. Now that we have learnt all the main syntax to do with images and sprites, let's go ahead and create our first game. We are going to be programming a replica of Pong, as it will use an array of functions we have already learnt and a few more. Before we start programming our game, we need to learn about object oriented programming and classes, as our projects will be too big to fit in one CPP file. If you have yet to learn what classes in OOP is, then go to NTRTFM's videos, the link will be in the description bar. Now let's take a quick look on what our game will look like when it's finished. As you can see it's a two player game with two bats controlled by user input, and it has collision between the balls, both ends, and collision between the ball. To get the ball we just press spacebar. When it hits the bats it will rebound at a random angle of either 90, 100 or 80. And just an added thing, if you press E you will unlock the easter egg which will change the ball's colour. Let's go and set up the structure of our game. So opening up Visual C++ 2008, go to File, New, Project, go to Wizards, 2D Game, just like in our previous tutorials, and let's call it Pong and press OK. I've gone ahead and created all the tedious structuring so you won't have to sit through while I type out everything but I'll go over all the structure that I've made. We're going to have different classes for all our different aspects of our game. The player 1, ball and player 2. Player 1 has a .cpp and .h, ball has a .cpp and .h and player 2 has a .cpp and .h and it's all cross referenced into our main.cpp as you can see it's got ball, player1 and got player2 so we can use them in our main.cpp as the code in the main.cpp goes it's just exactly the same as in our previous tutorials just taking out all the sprite functions and everything like that so just left with our initializers, our while loop and our deletion for loop Going into our player.cpp and player.h, you can see that it's a, just a basic class and you should know these before you start this tutorial. In our player1.h, you'll see that it's just a class and in public it's just our construct and destructor and in our player1 it's just our definition of the construct and destructor and same with all the others. I'll just scroll through so you can write out all of it so far. Now that we've got our class structure set up, let's go and create the images we're going to be using. First off, if we go to the left, we're not going to be using backdrop.bmp and sprite.bmp, so let's go and remove those from our project. OK, opening up Painter and the other graphical editor, let's create our paddle. So go into Image, Attributes, in the width put 6 and the height put 60. You can change this around if you don't like the dimensions but this is the one that worked out best for me. Let's go and save it, so file, save as, our project, so Pong, click it again and let's save it as Paddle. Now let's create the ball. The ball is going to be 20 pixels in width and 20 pixels in height. And let's make the background like in our previous ones. Bright pink. And let's create a ball. And let's go and save it like our previous one and let's call it ball. And now we need to do some behind the scene pictures. These are going to be our boundaries for the game. So first off, let's create our our vertical boundaries. And these are going to be 640 
pixels in width and 5 pixels in height. These are going to be the same colour as our background so we don't actually see them. So let's colour it black. Let's go and save this as top, bottom, line, where it's going to be at the top of the screen and the bottom of the screen. Now let's create the same one for the vertical line. So this one is going to be 5 pixels in width and 480 pixels in height. Let's just colour that black and go File, Save As, and let's call this Left Right Line. This is going to be on the left of our screen and the right of our screen. And last but not least, we need to make our background. And this will be the same size as our screen. So 640 pixels in width and 480 pixels in height. Press OK and colour it black. If we zoom out, this will be the size of our screen. Go into File, Save As, and let's save it as background as it's going to be our background. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you've learnt a lot. In the next tutorial we're going to be writing out some functions. Bye.